thing, but how about this? We literally know very little about this show. Okay. So I'd like to know, what can you tell me? Why should I tell our fans, or, or, or even me, why should I be watching the show? Okay. What is it about? That's a great question. The Messengers is the story of five, ultimately seven, uh, complete strangers, different ages, different walks of life, scattered all over the world. These are people who would have never crossed paths with each other, not for a minute, if destiny in its own powerful way had not intervened. The only thing that these seven people have in common, five from the pilot, seven ultimately over the course of the season, is that they are all in major points of crises in their lives. You saw for yourself in the pilot the different forms of those take uh, and then all of a sudden that meteor strikes earth or what we think is a meteor but in fact is the devil himself being cast down for a second time and in episode two rose who spends on a joke who spends most of the pilot with her eyes closed god bless her uh, awakens and has a very important part in informing uh, the rest of the messengers that you are still human beings. You still have all the problems that we all have. Sorry I can't make those go away, but on top of that, you are now angels of the apocalypse. And you have a very important mission to fulfill. You need to find and stop the four horsemen of the apocalypse in order to prevent the apocalypse as prophesied in the book of Revelation. Big problems with that. Yeah. <laughs> they all come from different ages, different walks of life, different belief systems. A Jew, a Catholic, a Muslim, a Buddhist, uh, an atheist, an agnostic, people from all different walks of life who aren't necessarily ready to jump on this bandwagon. But the forces of destiny are very, very strong. And so ultimately we will see how some people push harder back against that than others, and we will see how destiny works its magic in each of their lives ultimately to give them a collective sense that uh, we are stronger together than we are separately. These gifts that we've been given are reflective of deep inner needs that each of us have. They're instrumental in helping us potentially solve problems for humankind, but they're also instrumental in helping us solve some of our own personal problems. So, quick question. So is this more a religious thing, or are you going more supernatural in the focus of it? We are absolutely borrowing a mythology from the Christian book of Revelation, but we are interpreting it through various different viewpoints and different belief systems. It means different things to different people. To some people it means nothing at all. Uh, but ultimately, this is a show about the search for meaning. And that is something that bonds all of these people. You know, we on the first day of, uh, of writing with the writers, uh, we had everybody bring in and the writers themselves, by the way, represent many, many different belief systems. So it was like working on the show was the greatest theo theological seminar I've ever been a part of. Um, but the fact is, we had everyone bring in pictures of the people that meant the most to them. It could be your dog, could be your grandmother, your spouse, your kids, whatever. And we had them stick them up on the wall, partially to cover up an ugly pillar that we didn't like, but mostly to keep us honest and remind us that this is a very character-driven story, first and foremost, and the only reason any apocalyptic story of any kind in any movie or any TV show in history matters is because it represents a loss of the people that we love the most, of the people that are most important to us. And that's where the hope springs from in this show. And I tell you this as a complete sap, like, you know, I can cry at the drop of a hat. But, <laughs> and thank God he does because we, we make a great play. But the truth is, in each one of these 13 episodes, there is that moment that yanks your heart out of your chest. And it's one of the things that we're the most proud of. Because it is an exciting ride, no matter what you believe in. It does take you to amazing places, no matter what your belief system is. But the one thing that we all have in common are these beating hearts in our chest in a finite amount of time on this planet. And so this is about the search for meaning in that time that we have, individually and collectively. For more so idea, can I'll you talk talking. a little bit about the idea for the show? Does it come from the headlines, the actual state of the world, uh, and this sort of like, this proves your idea or, or the premise that we have to come together in order to save? Something? Yeah, I, I mean, you know, it, it, the original idea for the show I, it was, was framed around this search for meaning that we were talking about, the idea that people from different walks of life and different belief systems and with different crises going on in their lives, that they can all be united uh, in this one path because of this search for meaning, despite you know how they might be interpreting it in different ways. Uh, yeah. So it, 
it's more in a more practical sense, you know, you showed in the pilot they showed like them having wings and stuff like yes. that. So would you consider them to be angels or something else? Because you know they are essentially human, but then they died and then they came back. And right. So. This is uh, this again. This is interpretation. Uh, the Bible means many things to different people, just like every sacred text does. But in this sense, uh, they will be informed in episode two that they are angels of the apocalypse, whether they choose to believe it or not. <laughs> You'll notice that in uh, each of those glimpses, uh, with the exception, I think, of Peter, uh, who is still punch drunk from the fight, uh, most of them have not seen the wings. When they do finally see them, they may choose to try and explain it in different ways. Um, uh, but what's important is that they will ultimately recognize, yes, whether I'm comfortable with this or not, I have a new role. I have a new destiny. I have to work with these strangers. Imagine having to shack up with, you know, six other people you don't know uh, in a town that you may not be from. Um, all on the faith that by working together, I may be able to solve some of my own problems and I might be able to solve much bigger problems that face mankind. When you talk about the headlines and all of that stuff, it's interesting because when we explore this throughout the season, <clears throat> there, are, uh, there are a multitude of times through history when, when humankind has felt like they're on the precipice of the end of the world, you know? And that's it. It's over. The end is near, you know. Here comes the year 2000. It's almost over for us. Uh, and that's happened time and time again. And that, that, that may actually prove to be an important part of our mythology as well as season one unfolds. And the messengers may find that they're the latest uh, uh, to inherit this responsibility and this role. And, uh, and now it's their time to either step up or maybe this is the time when it all finally really does come to an end. That is a huge part of it because, uh, you know, again, to be put together with strangers, uh, there's all kinds of tension. Uh, and some of them befriend each other quickly, some of them are at odds with each other and butting heads. There's a large amount of romantic chemistry and sparks that fly in that regard. Um, so there's a lot of sort of satisfying human drama. Uh, that's generated. Then you layer on a common mission and a mythology on top of that of literally biblical proportions. Uh, and uh, people behave in all sorts of ways. Is there a reluctance for them to accept their role? Do they say, I'm not a superhero, I don't want to do this? Absolutely. <laughs> to, uh, to the point where some of, uh, some of their gifts, you may have noticed uh, that not all of their gifts are introduced in the pilot. And, uh, and that will be a, a part of what happens moving forward as well. Some may use that as an excuse for why they don't believe any of what Rose is telling them. Uh, but ultimately, yes, this is first and foremost a show designed to entertain, very human, very character-driven, about a search for meaning that we all have in our lives in one form or another. It just happens to play out against a really colorful, very powerful mythology. It's been around for centuries for a reason. I'm going to straight on you guys. Of course. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you.